But hello, viewers. Welcome to another edition of Mathematics Lesson, the Grade 7 lesson, Geometry. The geometry, we look at some definitions of lines and some types of lines. We have force, a line, a set of points in a straight path that extend infinitely in two directions. It should extend infinitely, meaning this is going no stop. This one also extending. They are extending from both ends. So it extends infinitely. Huh? Extending from both ends is what we call a line. Under it, we have also a ray. A ray is a portion of a line that extends from one end point. This is an example of a ray line. Portion of a line that extends at one end point. So it is extending. In this case, it's just extending as you face it. It is extending on the right. That is a ray line. It extends only at one point. If you look at the first one, that is only a line. It extends from both, point, uh, from both ends, but this one extends only at one end. You look at the other type of line, a line segment is a finite portion of a line that contains two endpoints. It contains two endpoints. It does not extend from any of the ends. It does not extend. If you look at the line AB, the end point of the line AB is the po point A and point B. It does not extend. That is called a line segment. So a line that never crosses an R, equidistance from each other, are called parallel lines. They never crosses an R, equidistance from each other, are called parallel lines. They don't cross an equidistance from each other. They are called parallel lines. They could be vertical. They can be horizontal or even slant. A line that cross at right angle. Lines that cross at right angle are called perpendicular lines. Lines that cross at right angle are called perpendicular lines. Right angle is a 90 degrees angle. When two lines cross at 90 degrees, they are called perpendicular lines. An example of that, we have the line OP and the line BC. They crosses at 90 degrees. This box you see indicates 90 degrees. So these two lines are perpendicular lines. Line OP is perpendicular to line BC. So basically, these are the some types of lines we have. We have a ray. It extends at one end. We have a line segment. It has end point from both ends. And we have a line. It is infinite. It extends at all ends. Huh? All the two ends. So we look at bisecting a line is dividing a line into two equal parts. That is bisecting a line. When we have a line, we divide it into two equal parts. For instance, if the line is 10 centimeters, to bisect it, we will have each of our halves as 5 centimeters. So bisecting a line segment, we divide it into two equal halves. To bisect a given straight line means to divide it into two equal parts. The perpendicular bisector of a line is also called the mediator. The line you use to bisect the giving line is called a perpendicular bisector or a mediator. That line is called a perpendicular bisector or a mediator because you need another line so that you'll be able to bisect the line segment that is given to you into two equal halves. So that line that do the bisection is called a perpendicular bisector or 
a mediator because it goes, it is in the middle. That is why it's called a mediator. Now we have steps we use when we buy, want to bisect a line segment. Let's look at these steps. Steps to bisect a line, a giving line XY. Steps to bisect a giving line XY. Step one, begin with the line segment XY. We must have the line segment XY. Let me show you that. We begin with the line segment XY. It's our first step. I'll have a line segment. This is the line segment XY. X and Y. That is step one. We begin with the line segment XY. That is our line segment. It is XY. Let's look at what step two will tell us. Step two. Place the compass point at X, adjust the compass radius so that it will be more than half of XY, more than half of the line XY. Draw two arcs above and below the line. Step on X, open more than half of the line. You draw two arcs up and below the line XY. How do we do that? We have to use the compass as it is indicated in the steps. These are the compasses. We use this in our schools. Blackboards, we use this to get our axe. And this is a ruler. So we, can, we are going to use only the compass and a ruler to bisect a line segment. So in this case, our line segment is XY. This is very important. You have to open the radius of the compass to more than half of the line, XY. Then you, have, you draw your axe up and below the line. This is important because if you don't open it to more than half of the line, you'll see what happens. Let's see. That is our line, XY. Now we get a compass. We have a tool here. This is the compass. We place it at X. Make sure you place your compass properly. That's it. You should open more than half of the line. This is, it could be half, it could be less than half. But be sure that you have more than half. This is now more than half of the line XY. You draw an act up and below. So we draw an act up. And we draw an act below. Huh? We'll draw the act below again. So we have that. That's our second step. Open more than half. We draw an act up and below. So we have those acts up and below. Then we look at the third step. Step three. Without changing the compass radius, place the compass on point Y and draw two arcs intersecting the previous drawn arcs. We draw two arcs to intersect the previous arc that we have drawn. And label the intersections, the intersection points A and B. And label the point of intersection as A and B. We place the compass point at Y without changing the radius. That is very important. We, don't we cannot change the radius. Without changing the radius, we place the compass point at Y. 
an act to cut our previous act. So we have to act to do that. Our target is just to cut this. We have done that. Then we have to go down also and cut the other one. Huh? You can see it's not cutting. So if it is not cutting, you go back. Place the compass back to point X so that you can have your act cutting. Huh? So I'll do that. So you see the act cutting now. One minute. All right. The two acts are cutting. So the point of intersections is A and B. We put here point A where the two acts intersect. This one here is going to be point B. They are point of intersection. That is the third step. We look at the fourth step. Using the straight edge, draw a line AB. Intersecting the point, draw a line AB, label the intersection point M. Using a straight edge, that is a ruler, draw a line AB. If you draw the line AB, label the intersection point M, where it is intersecting the line X, Y, M. Point M is the midpoint of the line segment X, Y. So we do that. Use a straight edge. So the straight edge is a ruler. This will be the ruler. So we use the straight edge to have the line AB. That's the straight edge. So we draw a line AB. Yeah? So that's our line AB with the straight edge. So you can have M, the point of intersection, line AB and line XY. The point of intersection is M. And the point M is the midpoint of line XY. The point M is the midpoint of line XY. Point M is the midpoint of line XY. And line AB is a perpendicular, sorry, line AB is perpendicular to line segment XY. Line AB is perpendicular to line segment XY. Line AB is perpendicular to line segment XY. We discuss about perpendicular lines. They meet at right angle. So if this line AB is perpendicular to line segment XY at M, so we will have, we do this to indicate they meet at a right angle. And the line AB is the perpendicular bisector. It's bisecting the line AB, sorry, line XY, and line AB is also called the mediator. You can say it is the mediator or the perpendicular bisector. So we go to the next slide. How do we construct perpendicular line on a point? Given, point, given P on line K, construct a line through P perpendicular to K. Given P on line K, Construct a line through P perpendicular to K. Let's see the steps that are involved. Let's see the steps that are involved. Step one, begin with the line K. You have to draw a line and name it K containing point P. Step two, place the compass point on P, use an arbitrary radius, meaning any convenient radius. Draw arcs intersecting line K at two points. Draw arcs intersecting line K at two points. 
label the intersection points x and y. Step 3, place the compass point at x, adjust the compass radius so that it will be more than half of the line x, y. Draw an act above point P. Step 4, without changing the compass radius, place the compass on point Y, draw an act intersecting the previous act, and label the intersection point A. So use the straight edge and draw a line AP. So line AP is perpendicular, is perpendicular to the line K. So we go to the construction now. Construction of a perpendicular line at a given point. So first what we do, we need to get our line K as we have it on the steps. We draw the line K. The name of the line is K. What next we do? we get the point on the line. The point on the line P. Let's say this is the point on my line and that point is point P on the line. We use the compass point that's our second step We stand at point P with the compass and act on the line. Open to any convenient radius and act on the line. Any convenient radius and act on the line. That's my act on the line and act two ways on the line. Draw an act on the line. After drawing the act on the line, the, where the acts intersect with the line K, where the two acts intersect with the line K, we label it X and Y. So we have X and Y where the two acts intersect with the line K. The next we put the compass point at X. The compass point at X. You draw an act above the line. Open to any convenient radius here. Draw an act above the line. That's my act above the line. Then from K, we move to point Y. So from X rather, we move to point Y, not K, X. Without changing the radius, we draw another act to cut the previous one. We draw another act to cut the previous one. So where the two acts are intersecting, we have that point as, we see the act are intersecting. If it is not clear, you go back to the point where you are. You can see the act will intersect always if you did not change the radius. If you do not change the radius, the act will intersect. You can see that. So there they intersect. Now, where the two acts intersect, we should label that point. Where the two acts intersect, we label that point A, where the two acts intersect. This is where the act intersect, so we label that A. This is point A, where the two acts intersect. Now, to get the perpendicular line, we use a straight edge and draw a line AP, draw a line AP. 
So we use the straight edge to draw a line AP. This is the ruler. We turn it. So that's our straight edge. We draw a line where the two at intersect huh? to P. So that's the line. Then this line AP is perpendicular to line K. The line AP is perpendicular to line K. Just a quick review of it. What do you do first? You got the line. K, then on the line you have your point P. On P, you have your compass point on P, you draw an, draw two arcs to cut the line P at X and Y. Then you lift your compass, put it on X, open to more than half of the line X, Y, draw an arc above you, with your point, you stand at X, and you go to Y without changing the radius, draw another act to cut your previous act. Where the two acts intersect, you draw a line to P. And the point of intersection of the act, you label it A. So this is the way we construct perpendicular lines at a point. When a line is giving and a point is on the line and you are asked to construct a line perpendicular to that line giving on the point, this is what you do. Is that okay? So let's look at another ex another type of bisection to bisect a given angle. To bisect an angle means to divide the angle into two equal parts. Anytime the word bisects is mentioned is to divide something into two equal parts. For example, we have uh, we bisect an angle of 90, we have two angles each of size 45 degrees. Steps to bisect given angle x, y. If you are given an angle x, y, these are the steps you use to bisect the given angle x, y. Draw the angle giving x, y. x, y, z rather. Draw the angle giving x, y, z. Step two, at y, Open your compass to any convenient radius and draw an act AB. Open your compass to any convenient radius and draw an act AB to cut YX at A and YZ at B. To cut YX at A and YZ at B. Step three, step at A, draw an act inside the angle XYZ. With the same radius, step at B, draw an act to intersect with, that, with the act in step 3 at C. Then step 5, join Y to C to get the angle bisector as we will see. Let me give you that demonstration to our next slide. First, we draw the angle X, Y, Z. Draw the angle XYZ. XYZ, so that's our angle. Then we have X, Y, Z. That's the first one. We draw the angle XYZ. Now, we take the first step. The second step is place the point of the compass. I don't know. X, Y, Z. This first step is step at Y. Open your compass to any convenient radius. Draw an arc. A, B to cut Y, X at A. And... Y, Z at B. So we do that. 
we use our construction tools stepped at y the vertex of the angle we draw an act ab So our act is AB. This is A and here is B. We said the act that we drew is AB. And your A should be on XY and B on YZ. So we go to the next step. Step three, step at A draw an act inside the angle x y z stepped at a the compass point at a you draw an angle inside the draw an arc rather inside the angle so we draw an act inside the angle This is inside the angle. Then the next one, we go to B, we draw another act to cut the previous one. Where the acts are intersecting, we label that point C. Then we use a straight edge so draw our line YC and the line YC is the angle bisector. So we use the straight edge to join the point of intersection to Y. So YC is the angle bisector. YC is the angle bisector. Now you can see angle X, Y, C is equal to angle C, Y, X. Because Y, C bisect the angle X, Y, Z. That's the way we bisect angles. Let me just give you a quick review on, uh, on that one. Bisect angle again. First, what we need to do, we have to get the giving angle. And our angle, whatever angle, we don't need to measure. This is our given angle. This time, I'll name the angle A, B, C. So to bisect angle A, B, C, you use the, pre uh, the steps that you learn. Our angle is at B. We get the compass point at B. Draw arcs. You can draw an arc to cut the, la the angle. So AB. We can put a letter on AB, say P, letter P, that is where the act intersect with the line AB, and where the act intersect with the line BC, we put there a Q. Now we'll stand at P with our compass, at P with our compass, we open to any convenient radius. Open to any convenient radius. If we stand at P, any convenient radius, we act inside the angle A, B. Angle, we act inside the angle A, B, C. With the same radius, we go and stand at Q. 
we draw another act to cut the previous act. Where the two acts are intersecting, we label that point R. The point of intersection of the two acts is point R. Now what do we do? We join BR to have the angle bisector. We join BR with a straight edge. We join BR to have the angle bisector. So we draw a line so our green line is the angle bisector and its line BR so we have angle ABC and the bisector of angle ABC is line BR so this is the way we bisect angle any giving angle it doesn't necessarily mean you have to know the measure of the angle. You can bisect any given angle even not knowing how much it measures. So thank you for your kind attention.